London Irish now, and how important is it to get back to winning ways? I mean, it's difficult. You, ne you never like to kind of put talk about one game being a defining game because it shouldn't be like that you know it's never one game that says how your season goes but obviously this has become a very important game and in some ways we've made it a very uh, pressurised game for ourselves by not collecting the points we'd have wanted over the last three weeks and I think I think really it's only probably really the sale game that performance wise where we're disappointed with because I think as well as Sale played on the night I think when we when we reviewed the game and talked to the players about it I think they were a little disappointed that you know, probably attitudinally we got it a little bit wrong and we didn't we didn't really hit the heights of where we've been physically and with our commitment to the game as we have in other performances. I think the Bath game was a tough one for us, they're a good side. I think we did a lot of good things during the game um, and the game swung on a small momentum period uh, and got away from us and, and that can happen, uh, especially away from home against good sides and some of those things you've got to take on the chin. Here against Gloucester was, was just a frustrating game because we dominated pretty much every every stat you can put in the game apart from the scoreboard. You know, we controlled most of the possession, we controlled most of the territory. Um, we made more carries, we made more meters, we made 12 times as many line breaks, we made three or four times three or four times as many defenders. So most of what you'd look at as being that kind of performance indicators to win the game of rugby were there. But ultimately we gave up some soft points and we missed some points. And that cost us a game of rugby, but, uh, but large parts of the performance as a whole uh, and by some individuals were very good. So that, that game was frustrating. So it's not like we're standing here now going, thinking you know, things are falling down around our ears because they're not. Huge parts of what we do are, are still very good and still strongly in place. The attitude of the players is fantastic, but we've put some pressure on ourselves to collect some points. And you know, like anything, when you put pressure on yourselves, and you know, that can create an edgy performance. And you know, I, I imagine that there'll be elements of Sunday's game that we'll see as being a little bit edgy, but that's no bad thing because those are the things you've got to learn to deal with if you want to be a, a top of the table side. You talk about that, and, and you look at the, the table, and if results go against you, as we hope they don't, obviously, you could be out of the top six for, for the mm. first time in a heck of a long time. And psychologically, what could that do? Well, I mean, who knows? I mean, it's, it's like anything. It's a different. Cha it's a different challenge all the time. You know, I've, I've said to the players uh, on numerous occasions. You know, what what what, psycholog what psychological challenge do you want? Do you want the challenge of staying in the top four or trying to get in the top four? Do you want the challenge of staying in the top six or dropping out of the top six? You know, at least all our psychological challenges are positive ones. Mm. You know, it isn't like we're bottom of the league trying to find our first win, or we're in the bottom four trying to see how we can climb our way out and possibly challenge for the top six. You know, we're right in the mix. What we have to decide is that we're going to fight and we're going to stay there. And we're going to going to produce really positive performances from us and I think on the whole this season it has you know it's I say I'm not standing here in a desperate panic because you know if, if you lose a game by one point having uh, produced the opportunities that we produced at the weekend there's nothing drastically wrong yes we got some uh, we got some decision making wrong within the game yes some of our stuff was inaccurate but as a whole you know the, the way we played and, and large parts of what we did were very good and I'm not, I'm not going to suddenly now think we've got, to, we've got to change masses and we've got to try and throw a game in the bin and, uh, and read about things because that's not the way to be successful. It's, we've never done it before and, and we've always moved forward each you know, year on year in, in various ways. And you know, I think the, the important thing is to reinforce what our qualities are, reinforce the, the attitude and the accuracy you need to win games of Premiership Rugby and make sure we, we ram that home in training. And what parts of the London Irish game do you admire at the moment? Well, I, th I think they're having a, a difficult season, aren't they? You know, they're 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 a dangerous opposition because they're not going to get relegated. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're probably fighting to try and climb the table, but in a lot of ways, uh, they're probably in a situation where they have got they haven't got that much to lose. Everything for them probably is a positive move forward. So any move up the table will be positive. Uh, as you were just saying, now our pressure is to not move down the table. Our, our pressure is to look and and make positive moves up the table like themselves. And as I said, that makes them a little bit uh, a little bit dangerous because. As I said, you know, I think most people will go, well, if Exeter win at London Irish, um, that's great for Exeter. Um, you know, London Irish haven't won that many games, so is this how the season's going for them? You know, on the flip of it, they, they bang a good win in, they start moving at the table, they, they take our scalp, start putting us under pressure. You know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's probably in some ways a nice situation for them to be in to, um, to be, like I say, looking to heat the pressure on us.